Guys and girls, I'm so freaking pumped right now because I just got a massive box in the mail. And this massive box is bright red and it is emblazoned with the Spider-Man logo. This thing is a massive crate. It weighs 40 pounds. 40 pounds. Sony asked me if it was okay to send me something cool for the Spider-Man launch and I figured it'd be like a little trinket. I don't know, a comic book cover, a poster, a statue. They sent a 40 pound bright red crate embossed with the Spider-Man logo and I have no idea what's inside. So we're gonna open it together. The game is fantastic. You've probably seen gameplay. I've been playing through it. I love it. It's incredible. One of the best games and definitely the best Spider-Man game. But what the heck did they send? There's a pull tab on this side. It's almost like a gigantic shoebox, but it's, it's legit 40 pounds. Okay, what the heck is in here? Let's open this up together and see it. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so freaking sweet. Holy freaking crap. I wanna show you what I'm seeing from my perspective once I open the crate. It is the limited edition Spider-Man PS4 in this super special edition commemorative crate where like the system and the controller are locked in here. I mean, I can get them out, but it looks so sick. We got comic books, we got a note. We've got me super freaking excited. We've got the game and something else there. Let's read this, let's take this out. Oh, I can't even take it out. It's like, I can't even get into this. This is legit the coolest like display I've ever received. How freaking sweet. There's the controller, there's the console. This is the best way I've ever received a package. It's like, it's freaking so heavy. It's like a display. I kind of really want to touch it. Oh my goodness gracious. Sony and Spidey. Holy crap. Thank you so freaking much. It looks so cool, doesn't it? This is like the craziest, coolest thing. Okay, so I, it, it looks like there's a drawer. So I think I pull. Oh. We're going to slide this bad boy out and there's the console. Okay, so that pops out. It's such a sick console and I think you guys can see this right sort of kind of I mean this box is massive and it's such a cool display like I almost want to just leave it in there it's like museum it, it, it's like ready for my video game museum and so this top drawer I think is gonna slide out as well let's see I don't want to break anything okay so this is gonna slide out here oh, that's so sick this box the box itself is so freaking cool like such a cool box. I mean, not only is it the Spider-Man logo, but it's got drawers and it's got those like screen glass protector things. Um, there's a note here, which I'm gonna read. PlayStation Insomniac Games and Marvel invite you to help celebrate one of the biggest games of the year, Marvel's Spider-Man, exclusively on PlayStation 4. To help you get suited up for this all new adventure, we're gifting you with a customized box set. Inside you'll find a limited edition Marvel Spider-Man PS4 Pro bundle and five iconic Spider-Man comic books. You have everything you need. Now it's time to play. Be greater from your friends at PlayStation Insomniac Games and Marvel. So freaking sweet. Thank you so much. They were so kind to send this over. Goodness freaking gracious. The game itself is amazing, but this package and the presentation is fantastic. Okay, so we've got the game here. You guys know what that's like. Um, we gotta get to the console in a second. Um, these different panes are kind of all glued in here. And then I almost don't wanna like take these out, but I'll, let's see, is there a simple way I can get them out? I feel like I'm ripping Spider-Man's webs, which maybe that's the intention. Maybe that's why it's glued in here so freaking good, but let's see, okay. Sorry, it was, it was packaged so nicely. Sorry, Mike. Okay, so let's check these out. The first one is Mr. Negative and the Demons and Spider-Man looking good there. I guess they're actual, I don't know if they were just covers, but no, they're actual comic books. Okay, cool. The second one, um, and, and I'm no comic book connoisseur, so I don't know the significance of these. If you wanna help me out in the comments, you can. Amazing Fantasy featuring Spider-Man. I'm guessing these are like reprints of like big popular ones. It really does feel like I'm ripping webbing. Uh, amazing Spider-Man, two great feature length Spider-Man thrillers. The Chameleon Strikes. This one looks very sad. Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, the final chapter. And then uh, Spider-Man Unlimited, no glare edition. There we go, very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try and put those back because I love the way they had them displayed so freaking cool. Let's get to the console though because I've been so excited for this thing and it looks freaking fantastic. All right, so the game, the big box over here, we'll slide that to the side and we'll bring the console 
This is packaged so freaking cool. I love that it's already unboxed for me. I just get to take it out and show it and we get to have fun with it. All right, so here's the controller looking mighty classy. It is a deep red with white triggers, white analog sticks, white buttons with red accents. And I kind of like that they decided to eschew any sort of iconography on the controller. In the past, those have looked tacky, kind of like, hey, I just put stickers on the, on the handles, on the grips. But instead, it's just a deep red with the white looking very spidey, like the white uh, analog sticks and triggers are really, really stark and not Tony, just a good color scheme and if you have the red ps4 controller already that came out way back when that dualshock 4 it's a very different red so even if you can't tell on camera it's going to be a different red um, now we have the console itself which is a beautiful now we have the console itself and it's locked in by two red cords i'm going to pry those off gently and pull out this beautiful beautiful red ps4 pro and a lot of people i saw on twitter were saying that they like this one better than the 500 million edition and I understand why. It is a sick looking console. I'm sure under here, yeah, it looks like underneath the foam, all of the, uh, the little inserts and whatnot. But let's focus on this guy right here. Look at that bad boy. All beautiful red with a big Spider-Man logo. And the PS4 Pros, like, I have Black Base 1, uh, which is the, the default, and I have the now the 500 million edition one. But this being like a beefy, uh, big... Pro, it's like really cool looking. It looks fantastic in red. Um, it's the same color red as you can see as the controllers. They match those up nicely there. And it's got this big Spider-Man logo and it actually is texturized. It's not like the one on the top of the big box they sent me is like almost like a scratchy material. This one is very smooth and sleek, but I do like that it's embossed on there and you can feel it and it's textured. So you got red on the front, red on the back, red on the bottom. Very simple from that standpoint, but they, they killed it. They hit a home run. If you're gonna do Spider-Man, you gotta do it just like this. And they definitely did the game justice and they did the console justice. I love this thing. I think it looks so sick. I really like the way they had it displayed in, in the box though. And that's freaking cool. I don't know if you could see on the drawers, but um, it's not just a red box. Like it's a very custom red box. It says Marvel and it says uh, PlayStation on there. And they have like these red cords. I'll show you, I'll pull out this uh, big piece of foam. This is just like packaged and presented so well. You got these custom cut foams that have like, ooh, dude. Hey, you want a second player controller? There you go, you can have that one, free of charge. Um, they've got these nice little like, I'll show you in the box, like these little red ties that are like built into the box. So, like the controller was held there, the PlayStation 4 Pro was held there. Very well made, custom made. I love when they do stuff like this and you can see how much care and time they took. Uh, and if we remove this piece of foam under here, we have a power cord, we have all of our inserts. Um, we've got you know the microphone, HDMI, charging USB, and we're good to go. This thing is so sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put it all back together because I just love how it looks. But let me know what you think of the controller and the console. That's sort of the uh, the piece de resistance of this big package, which was fan freaking tastic. And again. But like the PlayStation itself isn't that heavy. What makes this so heavy is how well they boxed and, and packaged this and produced it. And like, you know, the comic books are such a nice touch and flair to really echo back to Spider-Man's history and lore. You even got a foam controller. You got the very nice red controller. But to give you one look at this box from here, like check this bad boy out. This is a super sick box. And I don't know exactly what I'll do. Maybe, am I ri ridiculous for wanting to put the console back in here and just display it like that? It's just such a sweet box. And then getting that whole like, glass look when you open it up from here and it's got that whole display case style it really is like a giant shoe box I, there's sort of a similar size box for people to display like their like prized shoe collections and it reminds me a lot of that and i love that they have like this plexiglass in here to keep it like really like ooh like pristine and mysterious and museum like i think that's so sick and such a crazy cool package but yeah this console is hot 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 i really it's tough to decide which one I like more, the 500 million or the Spider-Man Red. If you didn't see my, my 500 million, million video, that one's really cool. It's translucent. Uh, you can go check that out. I'll put a link in the description. But this one is super freaking sleek and super freaking cool. I love it. I love the game. I'm so glad it turned out as well as it did. I was really worried that it was going to not live up to the hype because there's just so much intensity around it. Like, so much intensity. Rarely do you see that. Even for big games, big releases, tentpole titles, AAA, they're going to sell millions of copies. Like the fervor and just the pure, like unabashed excitement and enthusiasm was awesome to see. I just worried like it's so hard to live up and they did it. And this console is just so freaking cool. Look at this bad boy. Another incredible limited edition console from Sony. They are crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. Mwah. Okay, just for fun, we've got the Spidey in the left hand and the translucent 500 million in the right. It feels so different because this one has a matte bottom and a, um, like, uh, what do you call it, a shiny top. And this one is just, since it's translucent, it has that sheen and that shine all over it. 
Um, so it's got the glossy finish all over. This one's matte on the bottom, glossy on top, but they're both so sick. They're both pros, so they're really happy to hold your hands. This one's two terabytes, this one's one terabyte, so that does factor in a little for me just because I download so many games. But the Spidey one, like, this one's super cool just because it's so rare, only 50,000, and it's, it's, you know, labeled that gold bar that says you got number 490, or 49,729 out of 50,000, which is just super cool, like the rarity and what it celebrates, 500 million PlayStation consoles sold, two terabytes, gold, and that deep navy translucency. But this one being that bright red with the Spidey logo, I don't know, I love the game, so right now I'm freaking in love with this console. I love things that look cool, that they design well, you know, I'm into shoes, I'm into collector's edition consoles, I'm into like cool controllers, just design stuff appeals to me, even like clothes, like I don't know. I just get real excited when things look extra sweet, extra crispy, they come together nicely with the big colors and the big designs. This thing just blew me away though. This like, it's good, it's real good. I've been so freaking sleepy lately. I just got back from a trip to San Francisco. I was there for less than 24 hours and I went to capture a bunch of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which I'll be able to share with you soon, but just putting a lot of work in on the channels and there's a bunch of stuff going on in real life with my family and just been exhausted. So something super cool like this, just, I'm so grateful. It's so awesome. I just love collecting stuff and I love these custom consoles. My dream, guys, is to put them on the wall, like wall mount all of my extras, obviously not the one I'm using, but all my extras, wall mount them and then like run the cords on the wall and like line them with LEDs. I don't know, it would be super sick if I could mount these on a wall and have like a sweet display in my eventual like ultimate office where like all my custom consoles, my limited edition consoles are up there with the custom controllers. It would look so freaking sweet. I love this stuff, I love collecting them and I'm glad that they're doing it to the Pro just like they did to the OG PS4 and they make some Real crispy designs, big justice for a big game. I'm gonna get back to posting videos so you guys can see more of the actual Spidey action. This was freaking sweet. I love the console so much, looking so darn marvelous. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the console, what you think of this super sleek, big package presentation, and which console you think I should make my main, which one you think I should display, what do you like better, between the 500 milli translucent, which is real rare and cool, and then the brand new Spidey, which, I kind of want to roll with just because it represents my favorite game and the red is so, it's just so sick. Like I love that. I love the red, the red controller, the red console. Again, like all the PS4s, at least the pros have been like dark themed and now you have this really bright one with the big white Spidey and it is fancy as freak. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know your take in the comments down below. A fantastic day everyone. It's a great day, it's Spidey Day, and this just made things so much more awesome. Super excited to share it with all of you. Until next time, drink so much all. thanks again, a fantastic day, and we will see you all swinging around later.